Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna show you how to install and remove a taper grip bushing from our good friends at Sumitomo Drive Technologies, and helping us out is Adam Soder. Adam, welcome, how are you? I'm all right, Tom, how are you? I'm excited because, uh, you know, we got lots of heavy parts. We got another part on the side over here. We got cranes, so uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to see our demo today. Now, why don't you go over the parts that we have first, then we'll tell everybody what we're gonna be doing. All right, so we have our BBB product here, mm -hmm. but mainly we're gonna discuss the installation and removal of our taper grip bushing. And, and tell everybody why that's so special. So there, our taper grip bushing is our keyless locking device. Right. Uh, it's on for customer shafts. Um, it's great for reversing applications as well as start-stop applications. What, what, what makes this better than another, you know, uh, bushing, tell me? It allows for easy interchangeable for different size shafts, okay. uh, many different applications. It's universal as far as that goes, and it's very versatile. I like it. Okay, all right, well, let's go. Let's follow the steps, and as we're doing this, remember, you want to make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE uh, for whatever the project calls for. We've got our glasses on. We're good, but, you know, you might want to wear gloves or steel-toed boots. You never know. Remember, safety is always priority, number one. Go ahead. Correct. So first, of all, we'll go over the parts of the bushing itself. Okay. So we have the thrust collar, the hardware in the front, and the bushing. Okay. So from there, the first step, we're gonna take some normal anti-seize, just a little bit on the outer, outer threads of the bushing itself. Okay, we don't want anything on the inside. Correct. Because then we're gonna get a little spinning. Right, if we get it on the inside, it'll allow for slip, so we wanna make sure the inside is clean and dry. Okay, grips, not slips, remember that. All right, go so ahead. So next, we'll go ahead and thread it into the unit. Okay. All the way in until it stops. All right, you need some help there? Sure. Yeah, okay. You look like you were tired. Yeah, arms getting tired. So, yeah, we're doing that there, so, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so now from there, we're gonna take our one millimeter feeler gauge and we're gonna set a gap between the thrust collar and the back of the bushing itself. Okay, now why are we doing this? Once we set the gap, it allows for easy removal later on down the road. Okay, Correct. so once we get this set up, then what do we do? So the gap is set, we're ready to install it on the shaft. All right, let's hook it up on the crane. I'll let you operate the crane and then we'll bring our shaft in. All right, there we go. All right, while Adam is getting this in place, I'm gonna go get the shaft. All right. All right. All right. You got okay. some more tools over there. We got to tighten things up Correct. now, right? Correct, so now okay. we're ready to tighten up. So we'll take our regular ratchet wrench, and you're gonna tighten them up evenly in a star pattern until they stop. Once they're tight, we'll switch over to a torque wrench. Always gotta have a torque wrench. Torque wrench is our friend. Set to the correct torque level for your size unit. Right. And we'll go around in the same star pattern torquing them all the way around. Now this is usually the last step. Once we're done Correct. here, we're good and we're installed. So that's that. The only other item we'll need to install, once it's installed completely on the shaft, is our safety cover. We're good, so then we're good to go. Okay, Correct. now everything is done, but now we need to remove take it off again. Right. We've got to remove it. Okay. Remove our guard. Take our cap off. All six of the bolts. Just enough so it allows the thrust collar to move. So we know they're all loose. Okay. And then the next step, we'll take a brass punch or a brass hammer, and we're gonna hit directly on this face in this direction. One hit, or a few hits, could take a couple, but a few hits, it'll make an audible pop, and it's ready, ready to be removed. Okay. So once we make the hit, we can now slide it, and it can remove it off the shaft. Adam, thank you very much. We appreciate you. your help. That's Adam Soder. He is with Sumitomo Drive Technologies. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, call Motion Industries. We'll be able to help you out. Also, we'll be able to help you out if you go to mihowto.com and catch other great videos like this one that could be helpful to you. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time. I'm your host, Tom Clark.